Good evening, everyone. This is LaToya, and this is day 23 of my video day blog. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all not gonna get no puppets tonight. I'm, I'm not in that silly mood tonight because today was ladies' night out. And so I had me a margarita, and I'm feeling really nice right now, which means I'm really sleepy. I'm a sleepy drinker. Get one drink, that's it, because I'm ready to go pass out. Anyway. But that's beside the point. So tonight, my message is going to be short and sweet. And basically what it is, is do not settle for what you get. Now, what I mean by that is, is sometimes we, and when I say we, I mean me and my people, we sit back and we look at other races and other nationalities and how they get this and how they get that and how they do that and how they do this. And... We talk about, well, that's just because they they might be white or because they're Arabic or because they're whatever. Point is, is they don't settle for what they get. We settle and we need to stop settling for what we get. And I don't mean Ray Ray and Pookie go up there and act a fool because they got some shirt or some shoes that they wore and then was trying to take them back and now they mad because the store don't want to take them back because they were used. I ain't talking about that kind of mess. What I'm talking about is, is for example, when I was in school, I went to U of D, University of Detroit Mercy. Woo! And I remember I had this teacher and she gave, um, cause we talked about this tonight. So I told the story and it's, it's still a little heated over, it, I guess. But anyway, I had this teacher, she was teaching this class and we you know when we took the test, everybody in the class flunked the test. I think there was only maybe one or two really low C's, like one less point and it would have been a D. And we know all the students, first of all, you get your grade back and you got something that's like a F on steroids or something or whatever. So <laughs> we get these tests back and the whole class has a fit. Like, you know, where you get these questions from, how you come up with these answers, you know, when did you teach this? And she gave us such a fit talking about her husband took the test and passed it. So me and my retarded but oh, um silly butt. We um I sit around like is your husband in this class? Did he pay this tuition? Cause you're not messing up my grade. And she was like, Well that's it, that's the test is what it is, and that's that. So me, I'm like, no, it's not. I got all A's and B's and you are not about to mess up my grade point average. So what did I do? I called the dean. I said, no, this child in here teaching this class and won't even listen to her students when we asking her where she get the material from to answer the questions that she gave us. When did she go over them? Where was this, these answers in this, in this book and everything and how I pay tuition for this and I ain't paid no tuition to fail no class. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody. Got <laughs> okay, I guess I am a little silly tonight. Anyway, so. <laughs> anyway, so ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> look that up. If you don't know what I'm laughing about, just, just you on YouTube anyway. Just just look it up. Um. And so, you know, he ended up telling me that, okay, well, just, you know, it's okay. She's a new teacher. This is her first semester. What we're going to do is we're going to put somebody with her to mentor her. And we'll figure out what to do with the test. Either it gets dropped or we'll do a different kind of curve or whatever. I ended up with an A out of the class. Now, I don't know if I got the A just because of me going to the dean. Because I think my papers added up to like a B or something. I don't remember. All I know is I passed the class. Because I knew that lady was not going to make me. Was not going to mess up my grade point average. And I ended up graduating magnum cum laude. From U of D. So kudos to me. With my bachelor's degree that I couldn't do nothing with. When I got out of school. But you know that's a whole nother American issue. So what I'm saying all of that. Is to say this don't settle if you don't have to so if you got something going on and you know it's not going the way you want whether it's your job whatever it is school whatever 
just you don't have to settle for it you know sometimes when you voice your opinion but you don't go in there ghetto fi now we all have these two names y'all know what i'm talking about like to everybody that knows me i'm latoya now you take me to that other side and that other place laquita don't play that now that's what i mean don't go through the laquita stage Stay in Latoya stage and you should be able to handle that and take care of that. So that's it for tonight because I'm about to go pass out. I'm so sleepy. So have a good night. Happy Thursday. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. All right. Night.